All right, let's get to the point today. I'm about to show you a nice community in Savannah, Georgia, which is called Gutley Park, and it's right there on Savannah Highlands Boulevard. Here we are. This is the entrance, Gutley Park. It's a little bit cloudy today, but let's take a look at this beautiful community. Now, the one thing you will notice, it is gated, which is perfect for people who look for safety. And that website right there is the HOA, okay? Remember, I have to make sure that the videos I make could be used maybe one, two, three, even five years down the road. I am not going to be disclosing every single little detail about the fees about the community today because they can change tomorrow. Now, you're looking on the screen right there, the pool. There's some volleyball um, courts. And this is basically the community from an air view, right? I'm using my drone. I do have my own drone and I use it so you guys can see these videos, okay? So now if you pay attention to the background, not only the houses here on the, on the lower portion of the screen, but also on the upper portion of the screen, those are the other communities of Godly, uh, not Godly Park, but Savannah Highlands Boulevard or Highlands Boulevard. Okay. So I created a playlist on my YouTube channel, right? Click on playlist and look for Savannah Highlands Boulevard communities. And then you will see the rest of those communities. Okay. Now, one of the things that people like about this community, of course, is very walkable. You can walk on uh, with your dog, with your kids. It doesn't matter. They have street lights on the, on the sidewalks and things like that. Also, you have all of these beautiful amenities like the clubhouse, the fitness facility, the playground, uh, the pool, the volleyball courts and things like that. All right. So here we are just driving. Now, you will notice something in this community, which is that the lots, meaning the lane lots, are not big, okay? So if you're looking for something with a lot of land, this is not the place for you. Also, the houses were built anywhere from 2004 to 2021. So that means no new construction. If you're looking for new construction, just text me or call me, and I can send you the most recent list of new constructions, not only in Savannah, but also in Pooler, Rinkin, Guyton, Richmond Hill, and all of those places that are 20 to 30 minutes away or even 45 minutes away from savannah georgia all right now a little bit about me if you don't know me i'm luis bruno i am a realtor down here in savannah i ended up here because i was in the military myself for six years and hunter army airfield was my last duty station okay so i do i started in real estate in 2016 uh mainly working with investors then i got my license became a realtor and i've never stopped since okay by the way, if you are <clears throat> if you are from out of the state and you have no idea about how to compare the areas, right? What's the difference between Savannah and Pooler, Georgia? What is the difference between Savannah and Richmond Hill or Pooler versus Richmond Hill or Hinesville versus Savannah or Richmond Hill? Just send me a text message or call me or email me, whatever you need, right? and ask me for the out of the state buyer's guide, the out of the state buyer's guide. Okay. I created that, uh, for people like you from out of the state who are planning on moving here. All right. Now check this out, guys. That is a fact that I found on the internet. It says, what is Chatham County known for? Chatham County is basically where Savannah, Pooler, Port Wentworth, and all of these towns are located. It says Chatham County is the fifth oldest County in the United States and the largest county outside of Atlanta metropolitan area. Okay, so that is something that you need to know. It says that we have three crystal clear miles of uninterrupted public beach in Tybee. That, is, that water, guys, is not clear at all. So they are lying to you <laughs> on that one. It is not clear water, so don't get too excited. Now, for all of you guys who cared about this, which I don't at all, but since you guys always ask me, here is what I found on Google. Now, go go ahead and do your own research. It says the largest Chatham County racial ethnic group are white, 46%, followed by black and then Hispanic. Honestly, quick disclosure, guys. I know 100% realtors are not supposed to be talking about none of this. I don't have an opinion about anything like that. I am Hispanic myself. I have come from a black family, come from Spanish family. I, I have Asian clients, I got black clients, I got white clients, I got Hispanic clients. I don't care about anything like that. Now, if you ask me for my opinion on what I think about certain people in certain neighborhoods, I don't care. So please do not ask me anything regarding what I think about other people, okay? Make your own judgment. I, don't, I'm, I, I am here to make real estate content, 
not to be talking about what I think about certain people, okay? Another important topic is the schools, okay? So if you got kids, you're planning on moving to Chatham County or the Savannah area or Pooler area, just go to savannahceo.com. You can see here the rankings of the best schools in the whole uh, county. So they start on high school, then middle school, and then elementary school, okay? So I'm gonna let this here, pause this video, take a screenshot, whatever you need, and then you can do your own research later. But right there are the, the best high schools, the top five high schools in the county, then the top five middle schools in the county right here, right? And then at the bottom, you have the elementary school, okay? Just pause the video, take a look at it, and call it a day, all right? savannahceo.com or just go on Google like I'm about to do right here, right? If I go on Google and I type Savannah, Georgia school ratings, there you're going to see different websites, okay? So do your own research and let's move on. All right, another thing that people want to know is comparisons, okay? They want to compare Savannah with Pooler, Pooler with Richmond Hill, etc. And here's what you need to know um about these different areas okay if you don't know anything here's some facts number one pooler georgia is more expensive than savannah pooler only has a very small area where the houses are all the majority of the other homes which is about 95 percent of the other homes are built after 2000 okay now savannah on the other side Savannah is a combination of a bunch of old housing, right? You have the historic district, you have East Savannah, uh, you have South Savannah, which is the number two area right now in the entire market uh, after Pooler, right? So Pooler, Georgia is number one. That is the, 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 the place where the most buyers want to move into. Uh, and then South Savannah, which is near Hunter and Airfield, would be the number two area, okay? Now you have Georgetown is a very well-known town bunch of military people there uh now georgetown you're not gonna find too many brand new homes the majority of them are gonna be from the 1990s all the way to the early 2000s and that's it you have windsor forest which is another neighborhood you can explore i do have a video about it by the way uh windsor forest is more like ranch style homes the lots are a little bigger it used to be one of the the high-end communities back in the 1960s uh in the whole county but now it's just a bunch of old homes that are brick okay Another thing you need to know about this market is that we don't have any fancy looking homes like the ones you see in other places. Well, guys, that's it for now. You got my number right there on the screen. If I can help you with anything real estate wise down here in Savannah, Georgia or the surrounding areas, let me know. And remember, I do not work with rentals. OK, only residential sales and land. And that's it. So talk to you soon.